I'm Tori and I'm Alexis and we're doing the methylene blue traffic light. Um, materials you will need is a 500 milliliter flask with a stopper on top, 300 milliliters of distilled water, 8 grams of potassium hydroxide which looks like this, little pieces, and then you have 10 grams of the dextrose which is white sand like and then you're going to use um, six to eight drops of the methylene blue indicator. Um, since we're using acids and bases, it's best advised to use gloves and also goggles. We're going to start by dissolving eight grams of potassium hydroxide into 300 milliliters of the distilled water. After that's dissolved, you will then dissolve the 10 grams of dextrose into the potassium hydroxide solution. After that is dissolved, we are going to add six to eight drops of the methylene blue indicator. And we chose to go in between, so we're going to do, add seven drops. We will then swirl the flask and allow it to sit for about a minute. We actually already made a pre-made solution to save some time. So that's been set. Once that's shaken, the flask will then turn blue so the color appears. And then again, slowly fade into the colorless stage. And then you can repeat this step as many times as you would like. When it's shaken in the flask, the oxygen uh, makes it turn into this blue form. And then as you let it and turns into its color state. The, remo the removal of the blue color is caused by the dextrose. And when you shake the solution, it emits oxygen and makes the color appear again. The role of the methylene blue is believed to act as a catalyst, which speeds up the reaction. The potassium hydroxide is a base with a pH level of 14, and the, the dextrose is a sugar, and when acidic, has a pH level of 3.5 to 5. Reduction is the loss of oxygen, and oxidation is the gain of oxygen. Therefore, reduction and oxygen in this demo are working side by side, so it is known as a redox reaction. Re reaction. Here's a little diagram showing it. When Before you shake it, it's in its colorless state, but once you add oxygen, it goes through oxidation, and that's when you have your blue. When you have your blue and you let it sit, it goes through reduction, loses the oxygen, and then you back to your colorless state. Allowing the solution to stand alone allows the dextrose to reduce the methylene blue to its colorless state. This cycle can be repeated until all the dextrose is oxidized and all oxygen in the flask has been consumed. This demonstration illustrates a reversible redox reaction between oxygen and methylene blue. And then there are citations.